Imagine waiting at home for the one you love, in fear, afraid you'll overcook the dinner, say the wrong thing at the wrong time, or just be in the way once they take their first swing. Marina Pisklikova is Russia's leading women's rights activist. In a single year, close to 15,000 women were killed and 50,000 were hospitalized while only one-third to one-fifth of all battered women received medical assistance. Can you tell me again the story of um, Niti Janet, your sister, and um, her situation with your father? Um, well, one one day um, he came over and he was drunk, and um, she asked him for money, and he gave her change, and she got upset. She threw the change back at him, and then um, he got angry. He came towards her like a raging bull or something. He just, you know, he ran in and um, he started hitting her. He cornered her in the bathroom, and he just kept hitting her. And, I mean, I thought she was going to die because he was going nuts. And Mom was, like, crying and trying to get him off. And then, she, you know, he, he finally got off, thank God, but she was very hurt. Thank you. In July 1993, Pisklakova founded a hotline for women in distress later expanding her work to establish the first women's crisis center in the country. I feel like it's beneficial because, you know, people do need places to go. They need someone to reach out to. They need, you know, they need to be able to talk and not be afraid. And I feel like that's what my film was about. It was more about the fact that she was afraid to talk about, talk about her feelings and so she decided to run away from it. But at the end, it's more of a fact that she she does understand that there are other resources and that you can be safe from it and you can reach out to other people and, you know, you can get the help that you deserve. Today, her organization, ANA, the National Center for the Prevention of Violence, operates a network of 170 crisis centers across Russia and the former Soviet Union. My mother, who's a social worker, she... Um, she works with a lot of women that are abused and like beaten to the point where they even lose their children because the children are also in that position. And basically for the film, I talked to her about it. She told me some facts about how like not a woman, not a lot of women speak up um, about what's happening, how they keep, how they keep, um, their emotions in and how a lot of women just kind of deal with it day to day with the man that they love because they think that it'll be okay like they could change him but honestly um, in the end it's really you got to focus on yourself instead of the other person because you're your own hero.